Welcome to another video lesson on finance. We're going to take a look at a problem here that allows us to look at what happens with the money from all the payments on a loan partway through paying it off. <clears throat> because you know when you make a payment on a loan, if there's interest on the loan, part of the payment goes to interest first. It pays off all the interest from whatever that month of uh, from the payment and then the remaining part goes to buy down the balance of the loan so it says consider making monthly payments on a loan with an original value of twenty thousand dollars the interest rate is six point seven five percent for a five-year loan find the monthly payment so we'll go to our TM TVM solver and the first thing it says is that this is monthly so I'm going to make these the compoundings and payments per year are 12 and this is going to be 12 times and how many years is it it's for five years so 12 times 5 that should be 60 years the interest rate is 6.75 and we don't we don't convert this to its uh, decimal form we just leave it at 6.75 and then the present value that is the the present value of the loan is the $20,000. We're trying to find the payment. So at the very beginning of this loan, it was $20,000. The future value of the loan should be zero. And so we'll solve for the payment. And that should be $393.63. So just jot that down. There's our monthly payment. It's 360. Uh, we don't need a negative. It's 300 $93.67. I'm just going to write there that's per month. Not really necessary since it says monthly payment. And I just want to remind you that uh, the $393.67 is, is uh, part of that money goes to the $20,000. But before you put any money towards $20,000, 6.75% for a month would cost you some money already so the part of this this first monthly payment is pretty easy to calculate if we just take twenty thousand i'm going to go to a online calculator if we take that twenty thousand dollars and we multiply it by six point seven percent which is point zero six seven five and you divide it by 12. And the reason you divide by 12 is it's only one month of interest. So this would be the interest rate and the amount of interest for one month. So of that $393.67, this isn't necessary for this problem to know this, but I just want us to think about that for a minute. In the back of our minds, that 300, the $393.00, of that $393.67, oops, I gotta go over to this, go down here, of that $393, it's just $112, oops, $112.50 went to interest. So this was interest alone. So 67 is 5. $281.17 would go to the principal. So that means you would have uh, in a loan if you owe $20,000 the very first month when you give them the $393.67 they're going to take $112.56 out of that that's going to go towards interest and that means the remaining amount would be the $281.17 that reduces the $20,000 loan so the next month you'll owe a little bit less you'll owe you know nineteen thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars or something like that and so your interest will be a little less but that's just one month right there remember the 393 gets split up into different parts 
So now let's go ahead and look at the next part of the problem. It says, given the monthly payment from part A, what will the remaining balance of the loan be after two years of those payments? So this changes things quite a bit. Um, now, two years of payments have been paid off. And the way the TVM solver works, to use that TVM solver, we need to go ahead and take that the n value will no longer be 60. If you've paid off two years in a five-year loan, you have five minus two years, you have three years remaining. And this, the uh, on the TVM solver, the three years remaining, that's what goes into n. So you have you have 12 times a year times three years. So that should be 36. The n you'll have 36 payments remaining. So this isn't the total payments. You have 36 payments remaining. And the present value, this is at, at two, after two years, the present value is no longer $20,000. It has been reduced because you've made, for two years, you've made 24 payments of $393. And some of the money's been going to interest and some of the money's been going to principal. So that 36 months remaining gives you a new present value. You still owe 393.67 per month. So now this present value, this new PV that you plug in here, this is going to give you the remaining balance. Think of it this way. If If you have three years remaining on the loan, then the present value will tell you what the remaining balance is. So that would be $86.87. Cents. That's the remaining balance on the loan. And remember, it's the remaining balance because we got this 36 by doing 12 times 3, the remaining years on the loan. You might, a common mistake is people will put in two years for this, thinking, oh, we've paid off two years. But this N is not for how much you've how many years you've paid, it's for how many years remain on the loan. So this is, remember, the three is for the remaining years. Three remaining years to pay. That's a very important note. Okay? So there's our remaining balance. We still owe $12,796.87. <clears throat> now, how much of the loan will have been paid off over those two years? Now, you were making a lot of payments, but all of that money didn't go to principal. So, notice that the loan originally was $12,000, or $20,000. So, we had a $20,000 loan. Now, the remaining balance is $12,796.87. I'll put point zero zero there. And if this is the original, and this is what remains, then the difference between those two is what must have been paid off. So we'll take the 20,000 minus that, 20,000 minus the 12,000, seven hundred and ninety six dollars and eighty seven cents and that means the only if this is what's left over we must have paid seven thousand two hundred three dollars and thirteen cents has been paid already paid now the next question I hope is obvious. If this is if seven thousand two hundred three dollars and thirteen cents is what went towards the principal, remember 
you've pay you've been paying three hundred and ninety three dollars and sixty seven cents a month for two years what happened to all that money well that, again that's three ninety three sixty seven so we paid three ninety three sixty seven did that for 12 times a year that's per month for two years so that's 24 payments so <clears throat> the total that went into that is 393 I'll just do and multiply that by hand here 39367 times 24 that is $9,000 $9,448.08 is what you've paid. That's the sum of all those monthly payments. But only this amount went towards the principal or the balance. So you only paid, this is what you already paid off, I should say. That's what's been paid off. So the difference between what you put in and how much actually went to the balance of the loan is the difference between those two is the interest. So month after month, you were we were paying the three ninety three sixty seven, and some of it was going to interest every time. It's to add up every one of those would be very tedious. All you have to do is subtract what went all the all towards balance compared to everything that you put in, and that will be your your uh, interest that you paid. So we subtract that. 9448.08 minus the 7203.13 and that means $2,244.95 went to interest. That's the amount that went to interest over those first two years. So man, over about $1,100 a year, quite a bit of money going towards interest on Anyway, I hope that you found this video helpful.